Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to solve this log equation. First of all, I'm going to rewrite this just so you know what these powers of 2 up here actually mean, because it's easy to get confused with them. Right, the first one means the log base 2 of x all squared. And the second one, with the power on the end, means the log base 2 of just the x squared plus 3. Now there's a rule that allows us to take this power down to the front. So let's do that. Log base 2 of x and we're going to bring this power down to the front. But we can only do that if the power is on this variable only. So over here, we can't do that. So this stays the same. This stays as log base 2x all squared. And we still have the plus 3. Now to simplify things, I'm going to let u equal the log base 2 of x. So rewriting this, we've actually got just u squared here, and this equals 2 lots of u plus 3. And if we rearrange this, we've got u squared minus 2u minus 3 equals 0. So we've got a quadratic to solve. Now this looks pretty easy, so no need for a formula. We're just going to do it straight off. I'm going to put a u in here. I'm going to put a u in here. So we want two numbers that multiply to give us 3 that have a difference of 2. Well, that's going to be 3 and 1. We want the difference to be negative 2. So this has got to be negative this has got to be positive. And that's it. That looks good. So we now have that u must equal negative 1 or u must equal 3. Let's substitute u equals log base 2 of x back in over here. And we get that the log base 2 of x must equal minus 1 or the log base 2 of x must equal 3. Let's start with this one as it's easy. And we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3 equals x. So 2 to the power of 3 equals x. Therefore x equals 8. Over here we have 2 to the power of minus 1 equals x. So 2 to the power of minus 1 equals x. Therefore x equals, well 2 to the minus 1 is 2 to the 1, which is 2. The negative means you invert, so it's 1 over 2. And they are our two answers. Did you get it?